Hello there guys, welcome back. Well you joined me, going back to a spot I discovered a little while ago and uh, trying to be slightly discreet <laughs> and as you can hear there's a lot of shooting going on quite nearby so yeah keep my head low <laughs> um, not far now it's actually just stopped raining it's been raining a lot I'm just showing up pretty late here today for obvious reasons and uh, yeah let's get there <laughs> Well, here I am, this old abandoned ambulance in the woodland. Don't know how long it's been here, how it got here, how it managed to get on his side. <laughs> but uh, here it is, and uh, this is where I'm going to take shelter tonight. Um, nice low-key, stealthy, inside, and I've got a wood-burning stove to go in there as well. <laughs> Let's have a little look at it. Looks to have had a bit of green paint at one point. Bedford. I think she has long seized up. <laughs> There's the old back doors, that's one way in. And I'm thinking it's going to be a lot easier, gunfire, <laughs> to go through the windscreen which has uh, been smashed in. I'm over here by the sunroof and there's quite a lot of filth on the ground to uh, be cleared up. Um, obviously the floor is over this end with the wheel arches and the other window, opposite the one that's below me here, is right above here. So I'm thinking bed on that side and uh, stove on this side with the chimney out the window. I do have a tarp with me so I could cover some of that window. Let's see. I'm uh, short on daylight, so I need to get my gloves on and clear this mess. <laughs> It's already looking a lot better in here. That's most of the big stuff. There's a few shards of glass that I really need to uh, look out for. That's why I've got the foam mat with me, things like that. And I was trying to think when my last tetanus jab was. <laughs> Shame about the mattress. <laughs> yeah, bits like that. Oh, it's a lot nicer in here now. I'll do a final sweep for more bits of glass. Stick them over there. But uh, yeah, not too bad. Shame there was uh, 
kind of plywood on the inside of the fiberglass shell because that's starting to rot but I've got a ground sheet, I've got a mat and then I've got an inflatable mat to go on the foam mat as well. It's nearly home and it's stopped raining for now. <laughs> Door still works. Right, just going to try this out for size. Oh, there. Perfect. And my stove will go about there, which puts it in line with the uh, window in the roof. Obviously I can't have a big open fire being stealthy here, so uh, this is the next best thing really. All it's going to do is produce a bit of smoke and I'll only light it after it gets dark. I think I saw some uh, fallen birch on the way in from that direction, so I'm going to head back over there and see what firewood I can get for the stove. Well, this looks like fallen hornbeam here. Uh, could be green. I'll give it a go. I can see straight away that's green. It's going to be no good for burning. This is more like a piece of birch. Definitely good and dead. Give it a go. Well, this here is oak, so I'm going to try and get a few bits of that as well. See if there's a smaller limb than this. It's starting to rain a bit heavier now, so I've got my axe and I'm heading over to where I've cut the wood because there's a couple of stumps there, so I'm more likely to be able to chop it down.
Well, I think the shooting stopped anyway. I don't know if that's because of the rain. It was coming down pretty heavy for a minute there. Um, seems pretty constant. Kind of gradually soaks you through, but uh, it's not too bad. Yeah, I'm still debating whether to put a tarp up over the top there or not. I guess it can't hurt. If the rain does come in at an angle. It's uh, supposed to snow tonight. That's what the forecast says. I don't believe it myself. Maybe sleet, but uh, I don't think it's quite cold enough. I think it's about zero today. But I've got plenty of wood here to keep me going. But um, still got a bit of daylight left, so I think I'm just going to make a brew with my stove before I um, get set up proper. This is my Tranja burner in my David Fryer's pouch. I'll link his stuff below because it's really nice stuff. Doesn't for billy cans, kit, all sorts of things. Hopefully that's still warm enough to go. Yeah, it looks okay. Oh yeah, that's nice. It's quite peaceful. Rain stopped for a moment. Just hear the bird song. They'll be roosting soon. And uh, just be me in here. <laughs> when I wrecked this spot, I noticed there's some badger sets. Some look uh, more recently used than others. So I've brought my trail cam with me. And um, we're gonna go to the one that looks like it's had the most activity recently. Um, I just went over and had a look and it's actually got some claw marks so definitely being in used at the moment um, so yeah we'll just put that on a tree pointing at the set hopefully we get some activity tonight if not maybe I'll just leave it there for a while come back and pick it up one day And that's the kind of view of the set the camera has, so when they come up, should get them. with me the Amok Winterlight sleeping mat because it's nice and warm, it's got a good R value um, and it's not as wide as the other one, I knew there's going to be glass and sharp things in here so I didn't want it too wide, wider than the mat underneath it. And I've also got this German or Netherland Army um, ground sheet underneath as well which is pretty hard wearing so hopefully I'll be okay.
that's as high as I can make it go with the amount of chimney sections I was able to bring today, what was inside and I had a couple in my camera bag as well. Just need straightening. <laughs> It's far from perfect but it's covering most of the windows just leaving me a gap for the chimney for the stove um, and that's all I want really it's starting to drip already from the rain we've already had and it definitely looks like there's going to be more so I'm happy looking pretty cozy already sun visors up or down oh well I think it's stuck down <laughs> me all set up I've got my sleeping bag inside a bivy bag here because it's pretty damp and horrible in here really <laughs> um, I've cleared off the um, leaves around the stove there they're pretty damp but uh, better safe than sorry all my woods prepped I'm covered partially <laughs> I think we're gonna be okay see how much sleep we get found a hook for my lantern Well, it's uh, dusk outside. I can see through the many windows in this and doors, but uh, I'm cold. I'm cold. I'm going to light this stove. My nose is freezing. <laughs> Maybe it will snow. That's one. Put that towards the back, if I can. Some of this stuff that I broke down with the knife. Should get us a nice start. Make sure that's open and the back. really glad I decided to bring the stove <laughs> not only does it give me something to do for the evening but keeps me warm and I can cook on it 
Others would be in using meths or gas or I guess I could use the stick burner outside. But uh, yeah, this is much better. Obviously this thing isn't going to hold the heat, but it's providing me a lot of heat right next to it. And a bit of comfort with that light. It's not the nicest of places to be. I found it though and I thought I want to do it. And I want to do it before the summer when it's completely full of bugs as well. <laughs> Actually feels pretty post-apocalyptic in here, <laughs> like somewhere you'd make a bunker out of zombie apocalypse. Pretty much fully dark outside now. So I'm just gonna let this burn for a while, really heat up, get some coals in there before I cook a steak. Just a steak, I've gone simple, even for breakfast, and um, I have had some snacks already to keep me going. So I think a steak and a chocolate bar with a hot chocolate later would be enough. Should have bought my slightly newer pan, this one's a little bit wonky. Let's see if it's heated up enough. Got a seasoned oiled steak here. Just going to have rest that for a minute. Alright, can't rest it too long because it's cold <laughs> but uh, lovely and pink. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, yeah, I've been looking forward to this. Mm. Worth leaving that fire for a bit to uh, build up some coals. Need to cook a steak quite hot. Ooh, that was one of the best rump steaks I've had. That um, fat was soft and lovely. Ooh, juicy. Perfectly cooked as well, I might say. <laughs> right, I'm going to chill for a little bit. Feed this fire. Well, the owls were going a bit mad there, like an owl gang battle. <laughs> it's nice and warm by this stove. Go outside for a pee or to play the camera, you really feel it, but uh, by the stove is lovely, <laughs> toasty. I think I'm going to have a hot chocolate before I kind of settle down, maybe watch a video or something before bed. But um, got a British ration pack hot chocolate, pretty generous these ones. Hot chocolate flavoured drink powder. <laughs> So yeah, I'm going to get that one now. Nice sweet hit. Oh yeah, I'll have to get my chocolate bar out of the bag as well. Just heard, um, or been hearing, a load of rustling and footsteps out there. So I'm pretty sure the badgers have come out to play. <laughs> Hopefully, out of the right set hole where I set up the camera. Oh, 
this is nice. Actually quite a nice evening. Very peaceful. The rain or sleet or snow hasn't started yet. Um, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> I've got my bivvy bag. pretty warm even in just my shirt that will change once the uh, fire goes out in there <laughs> I'm a uh, sleeping clothed not in my thermals tonight because of the nature of the camp I'm just gonna feel a bit more uh, at ease knowing I can jump up and put my boots on <laughs> but uh, I'm glad I went head end this end because there's still drips down that end so definitely needed the bivvy bag glad I brought it Right guys, I'm uh, going to chill out for a bit, get some sleep and see you in the morning unless anything interesting happens. When you're wrong, you're wrong. <laughs> it did snow and kind of sleet last night, this morning. And it is very drippy and puddly in here. It's horrible. <laughs> oh, I'm cold. Right, I was... Do I like the stove? What I had of the wood is pretty wet. I'm going to try and light the stove. I think the stove's taking now, I had to break down some bits. I'm sitting in a puddle at the moment. <laughs> I think I'm going to get some of this stuff uh, packed away before I have some breakfast because it's just not a nice place to be right now. Surprise, surprise, an abandoned ambulance. <laughs> it's already getting a tiny bit of warmth. my sleep system away except for the ground sheet which is horrible <laughs> absolutely horrible and soaked and uh, managed to find a dry spot on my Firmarest um, close cell foam mat the dimples actually help because the water pools inside them so 
No, it doesn't really, does it? <laughs> Warming up though, that's for sure. Get the odd breeze through. But this uh, snow melting off the trees is just dripping everywhere. Right, I don't want to hang around, so I'm going to get my breakfast on, and I'm glad for what I brought. Couldn't find my breakfast for a minute. There we go. Get that squished in. I know the camera moves when the floor moves, but uh, I can't do much about that. It'd be in the side of the <laughs> ambulance. Aha! Uh -huh. I mean, I'm not dealing with this until I leave, because try as I might to get it out, I know it's going to go in. It's a good four litres or so in there. Tarp is dripping it through though is interesting. Well I've warmed up anyway but uh, getting dripped on. This ground sheet is horrible. I'm not sure I might strap it to the outside of the pack. <laughs> but I'm looking forward to my breakfast and I'm going to use that water for my tea. I don't care. I'm sure it won't kill you doing it once in a while. Yeah. So it's been a while since I've done this kind of style of stealth camping really. used to do it quite a lot back in the early days of the channel. But um, yeah, I guess that's why I stopped. I mean I love the bushcraft stuff and uh, I think a lot of my shelters are better than some of the shelters of when I've done the stealth camping. <laughs> Especially this one. I mean, you could make something out of this. I'm not gonna. Make me jump. It burst its banks. <laughs> it's okay, it's only coming out as a trickle. It was quite fast at first. That's probably the best way of doing it. It's wet enough in here anyway. <laughs> I think maybe the guy that went to the ground popped out of the soft ground. my all day breakfast, it's a Wayfarer's one. These are pretty much my favorite wet food pouches. I think I've got this one on sale actually. There was a go outdoors closing down. Oh no, I've made a pig's ear of tearing it. <laughs> oh, there we go. Sauce in here, does it say? Beans and rich tomato sauce with succulent pork, sausages, bacon and omelet. Pretty sure I've had this before. I think it's going to be hot. Mm. Just right. Mm. I knew I wouldn't want to cook this morning, especially if it did snow, which I didn't believe it would. <laughs> Although not too much around here. I can see through the woods there seems to be more in other spots. Oh. 
only just remembered about the trail camera and uh, hearing all them footsteps and stuff last night. It was a uh, full moon last night when I could see it, it was really nice, so quite bright out there really. So I'm hoping for some nice footage. Finish this and have a look. Well, sadly, nothing on the camera. And surprisingly, with all I heard, they must have been using a different exit or entrance or something. I don't know, I've left it set up. Maybe we'll get something. Um, it's about a week before I upload this video so I can come back and collect it. Okay, that's all from me here at the ambulance. I think my lens is a bit wet. So, getting a bit heavier. It's definitely raining, sleeting, as well as what's melting out of the trees. So, yeah, getting going. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Something a bit different. <laughs> I'll see you next time. Goodbye.